They can enjoy the 360 degree view of Cape Town. I'm very proud that we are able to, in my term, establish a program that's going to revolutionise precision medicine and genomic research um, on the continent of Africa. And this is a, a great legacy for the MRC and for myself that we can see the establishment of this Genome Institute and propel genetic research into the future in South Africa. The signing of this ceremony is actually an open a new chapters of genomic research in South Africa. What happened in the past is that local scientists don't have any uh, local um, high throughput sequencing capacity available in the countries. Our samples won't have to leave the country now and get uh, sequenced elsewhere and we can also uh, create our own database on our population. BGI represents uh, uh, some of the best science available in personalized medicine, in taking uh, knowledge of genome at a population level and at an individual level to assist in, in interventions relating to, to, to health. So this signing uh, occasion is marking a landmark for the upcoming scientists and it's also a, challenging, a challenge for the country to make sure that we grow our own scientists. So this will create innovation in understanding disease and also in diagnostics. And so if we can understand how to quickly, rapidly diagnose uh, diseases uh, that before took very long time, say like diabetes, if we had a biomarker, if this research can help us find biomarkers for diseases, for early, for early diabetes, for early hypertension, and if we can develop uh, point of care diagnostics um, that are cheap, it means that we can change the way we treat people in South Africa um, at an affordable price. So doing this means that um, we own the intellectual property the country owns intellectual property and the biomarkers we discover can be made into points of care diagnostics and can be used at the bedside, at the clinic or in the community.